Hello everyone, uh, I'm Ethan Erickson with uh, Cougar Board, and today we're lucky to have uh, the Chase Roberts, wide receiver, number 27, uh, joining us today. Um, how are you feeling today, Chase? Feeling great. Yeah? I'm excited. Yeah, what are your, uh, just like, overview? We'll just go right into it, thoughts of, thoughts of last game. Of the last game? Yeah. I mean, what an amazing crowd, atmosphere, uh, great game to, you know, kind of start off my my very first home game, you yeah. know, as a player and being able to step on the field and uh, and get that win was, was amazing. There's yeah. just an unreal feeling. So there was, what they have, 64,000 something people something there. Like that just packed. Yeah. And so, I mean, growing up, you're from Highland, Utah. I went to American yes. Fork High School. Um, growing up, did you go to BYU games? Like, were you a big BYU fan or what yeah. was it like? Yeah. So my dad played for BYU. Oh, uh, yeah. He played football. And then we've always been BYU fans growing up, watching them. Going to games, everything. It, it could have been basketball, football, whatever. Yeah. Big BYU fans. And my sister came here as well. And so, yeah, I've been a huge BYU fan and bleed, bleed blue for sure. So, like, when you got offers, like, did you did you yeah. entertain other offers? Or, like, were I you mean, like... No, I, I committed as a sophomore here to BYU and st started to get some more offers after. But really, I always felt that BYU was the place and, yeah. and where I ended up. And I'm, I'm glad I chose BYU for sure. Yeah, that's... That's real cool. So for those yeah. of you that don't know, Chase and I kind of grew up together. Yes, we, uh, yeah. I mean, I, I went back and forth between Low Peak and AF, so I was either playing against Chase or I was playing with Chase. And so I don't know if you know this, but like yeah. in like seventh and eighth grade, every time you like whoop on us, it was like, <laughs> we like, all right, they've got this guy, Chase Roberts, fastest guy on the team. There go. They're like, the quarterback's just going to throw it up. He's just going to run. He's going to catch us. We got to guard that. And I'm pretty sure you shut us out. You had like three or four touchdowns every time we'd play. You like, it was... That was crazy, man. There you go. Good so times. Like, so, <laughs> from from when you first started, how old, how old were you when you started? Playing? Third grade, about third, third grade. grade. Yeah. So, I mean, from the get go, were your were your goals college? Like, what were your like what yeah. were your earliest memories of like what you wanted to do, like become in football? Yeah, for sure. I always played all the sports growing up, whatever season it was, and I was always excited, you know, to play baseball and basketball, and uh, but I feel like I really excelled in football the most, and that was kind of what my parents saw as well. And hey, like you have an opportunity to play. I think. Yeah. Uh, you know, college football one day, and um, it happened. So I was super ecstatic. Yeah. So if you could, if you could go back, yeah, and see like your sixth grade self, uh -huh. like what do you think you would tell them? Oh, that's a good question. Um, just to stay humble and hungry, to keep keep doing what you're doing and enjoy. I think the biggest thing is just to enjoy playing sports and you know being trying to be that that influence, that example to others. Yeah. What, a, what a solid guy. What a solid answer from this guy. Um, so you served a mission in Canada. Yes. Speaking Tagalog. Yes. Yeah. That's pretty cool. So yeah. what, what, uh, So you, you came off your mission in what year? So it was about February, January, February 2021. So okay. it's been about a year and a half now. So about a year and a half and you're yeah. already getting thrown into games. How do you feel like, Yeah. do you feel like on your mission you were able to like train at all or like how was the mission experience like related to football or did you just completely focus on your mission? No, I really kind of just dove into to the mission. Our mission president, you know, kind of took away all that, all the weights. So I couldn't, you know, get super huge, but we still okay. did some stuff in the mornings, obviously, and ran a little bit. But no, really, I, I felt that the best thing to do was just to focus on the work and that I'd be blessed after if I did that. Yeah, and then when you came back, you did battle with a couple injuries, yeah. right? Yeah, so I had surgery right as I got home, and that took about six, seven months to, to really recover. So, But that first year, you know, being able to be in the system and, and have a redshirt year was, was amazing for me, just to be able to learn from others and kind of rehab and get back into it. Yeah, we were uh, we piecing up the, the, yeah, we were the scout team. We were piecing yes. up the defense <laughs> last year. Kind of scout team All-Americans right here. Uh, <laughs> so... I mean, now you know that was your that was your first game that you played in with Alder Stadium. Is that right? Because yes. I know you, you dressed last year, right? I dressed, yeah, for the for about five games, yeah. but never got to play. So that was the first time so, I mean, stepping on the field. That's that that's awesome, yeah, bro. it was cool. So we'll go through your first your first big play that uh -huh. I can. I mean, uh, the first one that everyone like loves is the the toe tap. Yeah. So it's kind of take us through like uh -huh. your your thought process and like after you scored the touchdown, like things that were like running through your mind, like what was that like for you? Yeah, so we had that two minute, uh, about two minutes left and we knew that we needed something to go into half, you know, a spark and and I felt like anyone could have made that play and, and luckily on that last play, um, you know, we, we ran this play that, that worked, uh, kind of throwing it up to the to the sideline and 
Jared threw a great ball, perfectly timed, and I was able to, you know, toe tap yeah. right in the end zone. It kind of just, your instincts just kind of take over. You don't really know what to think, and it was a perfectly placed ball, and we were able to execute, so it was awesome. I mean, turning around, so you, you fall on the ground, you turn yeah. around, you look at the ref, you see yeah. my hand. Though. Yeah. I mean, you hear everyone, we're like, uh -huh. what did that feel like? That was unreal. Like, my excitement level, I think I was, like, super close to blacking out. I think just <laughs> my excitement. and Well, you came back saying you almost threw up, right? Yeah, so everything was just kind of coming out. So <laughs> that was, it was pretty crazy. Just I, the excitement and, and just how unreal it was, the, the you know, the crowd. Uh, it was pretty fun. Yeah, and I, I mean that that for sure. I was fired up going into yeah, that half. Yeah. I mean, getting those points on the board, that was big time.